plaintiff, Miguel Waiters, says the defendant is his older sister. And she was always a bully. Miguel claims when he was 15, the defendant attacked him. And he still has the scars to this day. Miguel is suing his sister for a wrongful eviction. Defendant Paula Bullocks insists she and Miguel have never had a physical fight. Paula claims Miguel has been abusing cocaine for 15 to 20 years and was even selling drugs out of their elderly mother's home. She's countersuing for emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Okay, Yana. Um, me and my sister, uh, we, uh, we have the same mother, uh, different fathers. Um, as kids coming up, my sister was always the, the ruley one, the bully. Um, always kind of kept us in check, even when we didn't need it. Um, I can remember back to when I was 15 years old, uh, my sister attacked me. Uh, I still have those scars today. Why did she do that? She, uh, she my mother had, was, had been working late and she called home and told her to cook us dinner. And her dinner consisted of hot dogs and popcorn. And I told her how I wouldn't eat it. And today I still have the bite mark and the-, the That is not mark. true. How old was she? She was, I believe she was pregnant with her first son. She was about 16, 17 years old. 16, 17, and you were 15? Yes. Couldn't get away? Exactly. Uh, no, I didn't want to hit get my away. pregnancy. Get away, get away, get away. You couldn't get away uh, at age 15? Uh, yes, I probably from could have, but being 15 years old and not having the mind of an adult, you do what a 15. Where are you from? From Kankakee, Illinois. That's a tough town, Kankakee. South. Well, being 15, you don't know how to get out of a fight. Exactly. Go ahead. <laughs> Let me Yana, hear from that's, you that's what happened true. in this instance. Me and him never, me and him never have ever had a physical you fight. You didn't bite him and all never that? Never bit him or anything. Now, he, he had a fight and over drugs. And this was, this was way back. Um, a type I of drugs. I won't say that he was 15 at that particular time. What type of drugs? Cocaine, marijuana, Yana, they, that's it a lie. still is to okay. till this day on drugs. That's a lot, Yana. You know, I bet you he couldn't pass a test right now. I'll take one right now. All right. So I was just trying to understand, see if we starting out wrong. Uh, you couldn't get away from a 17 year old pregnant at a, a pregnant 17 year old at age 15. Come on. Um, what else you want me to know about okay, your, your okay, relationship? Yana, uh, with just her? to give you a little bit more. Um, um, I was barbecuing a few years back. Um, I gave my next door neighbor, a young lady, a couple of pieces of chicken. At the time, my sister was out there. She was drinking this drink called Croc or Ciroc. And she got upset and, a, and an argument ensued. Um, from Yana, that that's argument, another lie. From that argument, Yana, my sister told me she would shoot me. She would kill me and shoot my son in the head. Well, then you should see who got I the gun charge. I proceeded to go into the house and let my mother know who basically didn't do anything. What were you all arguing about again? She got upset because I gave a pretty young neighbor some Ask barbecue. Did he buy it. Uh -huh. Be quiet. I cooked, I cooked some ribs and chicken uh -huh. and gave some to the and next neighbor. And she wanted to shoot you and your son in the head for that? No, she. I had a yard full of people. She uh -huh. lives in Milwaukee. I live in Illinois. Right. So I had a yard full of people. We were barbecuing. My sister had been drinking, and she got mad because I gave this girl some food that she thought was hers. But that's what I just said. She wanted to shoot you in the head for yeah. giving away some chicken. She gave, That's exactly what All happened. All right, now. and you thought your sister might shoot you and your son, right? Right. In the head Yo, my for giving nephew. away a couple of pieces of chicken. That's yes, sir, Yana. That's All exactly right. what happened. And you then, thought it would happen. That's my point. You you believed it so much so you took that mess to your mama. Exactly. All right, go ahead. My Finish sister, up. after she said that, she walked to Who the car. Who has she shot in the head before? Well, <laughs> my, sister, my sister shot herself before in the leg. I said, who has she shot in the head? I don't know. Got it. Let me hear from her. Your Honor, my brother has been on drugs for over 15, 20 years. Sounds That's like a it. lie, Yana. 15, 20 years. Until one, because I used to go get my mother from Illinois and bring her down to, um, to Wisconsin for spring break. He has sold everything out of her house. That's when I said lie, everything Yana. out of her house, 
everything out of her house. That's a lie. Then he claimed that he had got cleaned up and that he was no longer doing drugs. She recently got sick. And when if you go and you look at the um if you go if you go look at from page um from nine to page starting it's the thirteen. Pink. This is uh huh. Well, I had to do an order of protection by the nursing home request because he was going up and thinking he can bully my mama to take her house keys from her because he had went to jail. My other brother that I gave money to, to get her house fixed up because he had left with a mess, been living with her for years, never paid a bill, don't do anything but just take, 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 take. That's all and he, he Take, 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 take. And mm. then he turns, he, then this he turns. This restraining order, not a lot. Uh-huh, yeah. Go ahead. And so then if you look in there, she had me to write it because she was sick. She did sign off on it. She all, I also have a videotape. She will tell you what he was doing, bringing people in her house, doing drugs in her house. Let me hear that. Because he her. said everything you I'll said was a I'll lie. Finish. Your Honor. I got Steal you. I'll no, finish. no. Stealing. 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 See what Mama say. My name's Annie Baptist. And I want you to know the reason I evicted my son was because he was doing things in my home and having other people come in and coming around and stealing stuff out of my home, selling it. That's what he was doing. And so I asked my daughter when she came to get me a victim out of my house. And that's exactly what we done. I didn't ask her to do anything other than that. It's to help me get my son out of my house. It was the best thing for me at that time. Either your mother's a big liar or you did it. She Which one liar. is she a big liar? You gonna sit there and call your mama a liar. Good enough. All right, and what else you wanna tell me about uh, the uh, situation with your brother? What, uh, the, background the, situa information? The background, the background Anything information. Anything else? Go he, ahead. He, 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 Drug addict and he, your mama lied. She's a big liar. Uh -huh. that um, what else you want me to know? A grown man like him to live in her house, don't pay no bills, don't volunteer. He don't do nothing. I've done do everything, y'all. And then on My top, sister lives in the wall. I'm not talking to on, you. On you be that, quiet. Honor, he was getting a check to help take care of what I guess still had to send gas money, okay. buy food, Look at page um, page 40 through 49 and page 53 where I would have Sam's Club ship the stuff to the house when I couldn't go there. He can't say that he never did get it. If you go back and you look at on page 25 through 31 and page 51, you will see where I sent him the money through Western Union. He collected the money, didn't have to give him gas money to go to the store to get the food, to put it in the house, and then sent his son some money. Yeah, he's a crackhead. You're right. He's still a crackhead. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I, I, I've had a job my whole life. And stole from your mother, too. I didn't steal from your mother. You have. You're a crackhead. I believe you're a crackhead. He didn't want to take her to Dallas. I've never without, done anything. With, um, without getting no gas money. Told me the car was broke down. He needed some new tires. Wired him $900. And then he you, smoked that up, too. And still didn't get you tires. You me. never bought you me anything. You don't have to tell yeah. me, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I heard all this. You never shit. bought okay. me anything. Oh, yeah, I did. You never bought me anything. Well, paperwork done You lie. never bought me any tires for my car. Okay, and I, and I didn't ship you no money neither, right? You ship money man. for your uh -huh. mother. Yeah. Man, okay. Paperwork, no videos from your mama, don't okay. lie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah, you should also know What's that my the mother eviction was for? What's the wrongful dimension. eviction? The wrongful eviction is that um, on um, September 6th, um, a warrant was put out for my arrest because I had missed a court date. Um, my court date said the 26th. What did you have to go to court for? Because I had um I had a 12 gauge in my car with that had broken and the shells were stuck oh, in. Oh, okay. I had a gun card. I was legal to have the gun, but I didn't have a concealed you mean shotgun. Carry. Yes, it was a yeah. shotgun mm -hmm. that had broken. Um, that's the gun I threatened the pieces, with. The pieces. Yeah, that's what he said. The pieces of right. uh, the gun. Uh, some pieces uh, okay. broke so out. So what the they gun. do to you? They um um they uh. Gave me a thousand dollar bond and and I've been free and we go to court. So how is that relevant to the day to being put out? Well, I'm just, I was just saying um, I I was I had a warrant. I was arrested sev on the seventh of February. Mm -hmm. I was in jail for one week before I went to jail. There was no problems at the house, no arguing between anybody. I get out one week later and something ensued between my my younger brother, my sister, and my mother. 
Now I'm in jail. I had done nothing. Your Honor, ask who, ask who days, bailed him out of jail. Seven days after I got out of jail, Your Honor, my sister um, threw us out of the house using the order of protection. On March, on um, on February 20th, my sister called the Kankakee Police Department, told them that um, she called them just to see, just to see if she could put me out. The officer asked me for my ID and my letter. I showed him that, and he took turn to my sister and said, you cannot put me out. She states that in her own order of protection on page um, 10. So she has every right to put you out if they have a temporary restraining order. That's exactly what it's for. This is a restraining order yeah. in February. And huh? I won that, and I won that restraining order. Show me that, order. show me that. Which I won one that in Which court. page in yours is it? I won that in Kansas Where County Where is Court. it? In no, your I evidence, I know you don't. Know. Man, don't give me them crack stories. I'm not a crackhead. Count, counting yeah, you any time your mother say yeah, that I'm about not you. A you know, he got his son living with a crackhead. Go ahead. Yes, Your Honor, I did. Ma'am, what are you, you suing him for? It's because he had turned back around and turned my life upside down. How? Where I had to leave my business to come down here to constantly go back and forth to court, cleaning and taking care of my mama's house, just trying to just keep peace. What you, you, you have to go back and forth for court? For for him talking about I, I wronged him, for, for him. For the order of protection, uh, Your Honor. For, yes, for order of protection for my mama because she and, was and, I, and who won that case? It ain't I a matter of who won. won. He, Two thousand for the emotional distress. Yes, because this don't make any sense. And zero for you. I believe your mother. Your claim is dismissed. You need to go to rehab. That's what you need I to do. do you need to go to rehab. Right. Who tells their mama they don't never want to see her again? And when she's sick, who tells their own mama you that? Are a liar. You called and told you your are, own you know, mama you that. You, you the told your own liar. mama that.